made my own cylindrical wood stove. This is not a 55 gallon barrel here. This is actually a 25 gallon barrel. I wanted it smaller for my camper cabin. You can see I've actually got a breaker box cover that I've used on the front here. But the most important thing about this wood stove is this air intake right here. And I wanted to really experiment with that. So I made an air intake and in theory it makes the air go into this. It gains a lot of velocity as it's traveling through that tube. And there's a cyclone effect, like a turbo effect, as it swirls around and then goes up the pipe. You can actually hear it when I shut this door. Hang on. It just gets that flame so much more ripping hot. Like if this is smoldering and I shut this door, it'll ignite it every time just because there's such a powerful velocity and concentration of air. It's my best wood stove design yet. I really like it. I've been using it for over a month now. This big gigantic rock on top acts like a thermal battery and it's a really good heat sink. I actually painted it black underneath too to attract more heat, but it never gets over like 110, 100 degrees. It, it doesn't get hot enough to melt anything or burn anything. This sun seasoned wood right here that I'm drying out, it takes like two or three days to dry out. I've also got a shelf of it up here. And of course I made it so I can adjust my air intake. This is a bolt and a nut. I welded this nut on here and then this, this piece of plate with a bolt and I can shut this thing off completely. I can open it up partially if this thing's getting too hot. And I also made my damper. And I used a piece of all thread and I got two bolts on either side because all the wood stoves I've used in my entire life, that damper gets real loose. So I made it so I could tighten it up in the future. I guess the most vital thing is that it never ever smokes me out and it's really small. It's small enough for the camper cabin in here. I like that too. And this door is kind of thin, so I put this channel on here to play a role in thermal siphoning. Cold air will go through the bottom of this, and hot air will go through the top. And it'll help keep this door from warping. That was my biggest concern. I already warped it when I welded it. This thing never leaks smoke, and it never smokes me out. I think it because it has such good draft. You can see there's fiberglass insulation behind me here without any paper facing on it. Fiberglass insulation can take a substantial amount of heat. And then on the bottom part of this window, there's a big metal plate with a hole cut in it. And surprisingly, the window hasn't melted or, or warped in any way, shape or form. So I'm really happy about that. This thing gets hotter than Hades in here. I'm gonna modify this in a lot of other ways as well. So I'm gonna have to do a more detailed, longer video about it. And I will eventually, I promise you when I get the time